Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw in Anime Studio. Tutorial. Alright, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to file and create a new document. Now you see a lot of different things appearing right now. You see here the, the tools, the draw tools. Uh, style panel where you can choose different colors uh, a layers panel and the type timeline but uh, I'm not going to explain everything right now because that's just too much for one tutorial I'm just going to give you the basics of uh, drawing I'm just going to draw something uh, very simple so you can understand how you work with these tools and how you work with layers and everything and for a more detailed explanation I will make lots of different tutorials in the future so if you want to learn more about that be sure to subscribe but anyway let's get started the first thing that you need to keep in mind is you always have to be on frame 0 if you're on frame 1 or any of the other frames in a timeline you're not able to draw you can't draw anything so keep in mind that you that you're always on frame 0 now for drawing you need something that is called a layer. Everything that you're, you are going to draw right here will be drawn on the layer. And you can name the layer yourself. So let's say um, what I'll do, I'll just start with uh, drawing uh, s s uh, a simple house and uh, it's surrounding the, hair, the air, the grass and the sun and everything. So I'll just name I'll just start with the air the sky I'll name this one sky and what I'm going to do is I'll take the draw shape tool and with the draw shape tool you can create different uh, objects like a oval a triangle a star and so on but for now I'll choose a rectangle and I'll choose a color for this one I'll choose this one for the sky and I'll draw I'll draw a rectangle right here and so it looks like the sky now we are going to create a new layer for something else I call it the Sun because we are going to draw the Sun and for that I'll take the draw shape tool again and this time I'll select oval and I'll deselect auto stroke which means there will no there will be no line like right here no black lines around it and I'll choose the color yellow and then I'll hold my mouse again and I'll drag a circle right here and that's now we have the sun now, just like I said, the the sun, this object is right now on the sun layer, while the sky is on this layer. Now, if I'm if I'm on this layer, I can do anything with uh, the sky with these tools. I can move it, I can make it smaller, I can change it, I can do whatever I want with it. But you, but I can't do anything with the sun. I can't make it bigger, I can't make it smaller or anything, it's, it will stay th the same. But if I'm on the sun layer, I can do it, it's uh, the opposite, I can do anything with the sun but not with the sky. So that's uh, how layers work. Also, uh, this, right now the sun is above the sky uh, layer, so the, the sun itself is also in front of the sky. If I'll put the sun under the sky it disappears and if I'll take the transform layer tool and if I move the sky a bit away you see it's behind the sky so that's something to keep in mind also so now I'm going to draw some grass I'll make a new layer and call it grass and for that I'll choose this color right here I'll take the draw shape tool. This time I'll select auto stroke again. I'll select the rectangle and I'll draw some grass right here. 
Then I'm going to draw a house, but for this drawing I'm going to do something different. I'll create a line. What I'll do is I'll take the add point tool, make sure sharp corners is on, and I'll draw a line right here. Make sure it's straight, that is important. I'll take the paint bucket tool, make sure stroke is selected, and then I'll click on it, and then if you zoom in, you see you have created a line. And I want to use this line as some kind uh, as a ruler for my for the drawing of the house. Now I'm going to make a layer for the house. And for that I'm also going to use the add point tool. I'll choose a color. I'm going to choose this one. And make sure sharp corners is on. And I'll just draw a point right here and I'll put this point right on this line then I'll make some other points and I'll draw a house right here So there we go, just move it a bit like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'll take the add point tool again. I'll choose a col another color, red, because we are going to draw the roof. It's on the same layer as the house. And I'll just draw the roof right here. And I'm going to take the transform points tool for this and I'll move it just the way I want it to be. There we go. And I'll see that this point right here is not really straight, so I'll move it bit like this there we go so now if I zoom in a little bit I'm going to make a door and a for it and I see that I have to put it it's not really straight that's better so I'll take the draw shape tool again and I'll select this color, round, and I'll draw a door right here. Then I'll take the oval, I'll select the color black, and I'll draw a little oval right here. Now we have his door. Then I'm going to draw the window and I'll take this line again, the ruler, and I'll move it here and I'll select a color, I'm going to select this one and I'll choose rectangle and I'll draw a window right here then what I'm going to do is while I'll, while I'll have select the the window right now I'm going to edit copy edit and paste there we go now we have the window the windows so there we go if I zoom out and if I'll make I'll remove this line because this layer because we don't need it anymore so now we have our drawing 
And yes, it's very simple, very amateur. It's it's really ju it looks like a child drawing, but it really is uh, about how to teach you how to work with these uh, tools, how to work with layers and everything, and how to work with picking colors. Um, the last thing that I want to do is I right now they're on different layers, of course. So if I'm on the house layer, I can only move this house layer and nothing with the others but there is a way to move it all at the same time uh, what you do you make a group layer and I'll just name it house house plus surrounding now um, you see a little arrow right here you have to make sure that the arrow is pointing down. If you click on it, it points towards the map. We don't want to have that. It needs to put. It needs to point down. That way, the 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 map, the group layer, is open. <coughs> so then, what you what you are going to do is you click on the layer under the 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 group layer, the house in this case. Then you move your mouse to the layer below. You hold in shift, and you click on it, so that way they are all selected, and you drag them all into the group layer. So now everything is in this layer. And if I'm on the transform layer tool, I can move it all at the same time. And on this layer, on another layer like this layer for instance I can only move the Sun so that is a very short explanation of how you draw uh, in anime studio of course there's much more to learn uh, there's so many uh, options with it so many things to learn but this uh, these are the basics of uh, drawing so I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope to see you in the next video if you like this video and you want to learn more about Anime Studio, then please subscribe to this channel. I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.